There are a few things in this life that I hate more than driving long distances. You're stuck in one seat for countless hours. You can't really move that much. You do it long enough, your butt will start to cramp real bad, or at least mine does. <laughs> um, you know, you gotta pee a thousand times, so then you gotta stop, but you don't wanna stop because then it's gonna slow down your arrival time. You gotta spend money on lots of gas. I mean, I could go on and on about how much I hate driving long distances. But there comes a point in a landscape photographer's life when he realizes you're just gonna have to suck it up and drive a long distance if you want to try and photograph something new and different from what you're used to. So I am from the Blue Ridge Mountains in Virginia and I decided to drive down to Mount Mitchell in North Carolina, which is about five-ish hour drive for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and see if that gives me some awesome inspiration, see what kind of cool photographs I can take in and around that area. I believe if I'm remembering right, it's the tallest mountain east of the Mississippi River, so it should be pretty sweet. And I'm going to hike out overnight in the Pisgah National Forest to what I think is called Maple Camp Bald, and we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll get eaten by a bear in my sleep. Maybe I'll get lost on the overgrown trail. And I also heard it's, well heard, I read it's going to be in the 50s up there at that elevation around 6,000 feet, which was pretty shocking to me because in Virginia where I live in the Blue Ridge Mountains, it's like supposed to be in the 90s in the next couple of days. So to go from the 90s to the 50s, that's like going back in time like two months or something, which is just nuts. So I brought my weather hiking gear, which, weather? Winter. I brought my winter hiking gear, which was very strange to be digging back out of the closet after all these months, but I guess I'll see how it feels at the top. Maybe I'll freeze to death, maybe I won't. I survived the five hour drive and finally here and I'm actually blown away so far. The spruce fir forest here that I'm going through is beautiful. And the elevation is just so much higher than what I'm used to back in my northernmost section of the Blue Ridge Parkway. So I am feeling very inspired already and I haven't even been here long so I think I'll be able to get some cool shots and videos, hopefully. And uh, there's a crap ton of people at the top of the parking lot when you first arrive, but go 400 meters off the summit onto one of these trails and all of a sudden, these people just evaporate. Pretty crazy how people just don't want to put in the effort to see the amazing sights that are out there. They just want that easy short gratification that you can get by reaching a top. And there's nothing wrong with that necessarily, but sometimes I just wish more people would put in the effort to hike out because you'll see some amazing and beautiful stuff out here that you just won't get to see if you only stay at the top the whole time. So pretty stoked this is going well so far. It's a beautiful location and I'm absolutely loving it. So I'll check back maybe in a mile or two. So I just came across a sign that said that there was a lot of bear encounters reported in the area and that it's not advisable to camp at this time. Now a smarter man than me would say, hey, it doesn't matter that you drove five hours to get here. You need to put safety first and 
Maybe change your plans, sleep in your car, go get a hotel or something. But, guess what? I'm not a smart man. So, I'm gonna forge on, keep the bear spray at the ready, and pray to God that I don't get mauled in my sleep in my tent. <laughs> So I finally made it to Maple Camp Bald. You might be wondering why I'm whispering. Um, that's because my parents are asleep upstairs and I don't want to wake them up. No, uh, jokes aside, there are two dudes camping up the hill behind me and I don't want them to be like, why is this lone dude just talking to himself here <laughs> and I don't want to weird them out. So you have to forgive the whispering. But this is a really cool location, but unfortunately I'm not seeing a ton of stuff that sticks out to me as, hey, create an awesome photograph using this composition so uh, you know the, i'm not seeing anything that would look cool in the foreground even the mountains in the distance i'm not seeing anything that stands out to me as making a good shot and that could change rapidly as the sun starts to set and after it has set so we'll see what happens but for now i'm not feeling optimistic about making an amazing photograph but that's okay because this was a really fun hike and this is an amazing location it's beautiful and I would definitely recommend checking it out if you're in or around North Carolina and you have the opportunity to come here because this is definitely a really awesome time. So this was the image I was able to come up with at Maple Camp Bald. I'm always down for a good panorama and I enjoy it well enough, but you know, I'm not super in love with this image. It's pretty good, but I wouldn't put it in my portfolio or, or throw it up on my website or anything like that. Now, fortunately, I did end up taking two images later in this trip that I absolutely loved and I think are a lot better than this one. So you have to keep on watching to check out those. Made it to the summit of Big Tom, and it's amazing up here. But I am so tired, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hike much later, so might just end up uh, taking pictures along the parkway, which is fine, because it's amazing out here. So, I better get back to hiking, because I still got like two miles to go, and I gotta go way, way off in the distance. I'm gonna be dead tired. <laughs>
Well, I made it. I survived. It's just one problem. My hair may never be the same again. Ah, look at the top of his head. Hair always looks awful after a long hike. <laughs> but I'm dead tired. So I guess the rest of today, I'm just gonna be spending driving around the Blue Ridge Parkway here in, in North Carolina and trying to get some awesome photos. I'm gonna go check out Craggy Gardens, but my feet hurt so bad that I, I don't know if I'll be able to hike anymore or not. I don't know if there's any hiking required there or not. I'm sure there's at least a little bit, but I'll go there and check that out. And uh, then I'll head back tomorrow and that'll be a successful trip completed. You would not believe how insanely difficult it was to get to this location. And this is my second time getting up here. Here, let me show you. I am on top of <laughs> what amounts to basically a cliff face. But to get up here, I had to go through this insanely dense brush. And I didn't, obviously I'm not going to climb up the cliff face because I'm not going to fall off and die. So I had to go through all this scrub all this, I don't even know what these are, these bushes that are so thick. I don't think it's even this thick in a legitimate jungle. <laughs> and I just had to brute force my way through hundreds, thousands of little branches and twigs up this side of this hill to get up on top of this cliff. But um, as long as sunset is amazing, it'll all have been worth it because that is a killer view of the lake and the valley below. You can't see it too well because the depth of field isn't isn't quite uh, large enough here, but hopefully I'll get an amazing shot. That'll make it all worth it, and, uh, and I'll be able to share that with you here shortly. I am so happy with how this image turned out, and that's a good thing because it was insanely difficult to get up on top of that cliff face. If you go back and you look at the footage, I've got like dirt all over my face, and, and you won't be able to see it, of course, but I had cuts and scratches all over my arms and legs. And uh, fortunately, it was all worth it because I am super, super pleased with this image. Now, I was a little concerned when I was taking the shot because instead of setting within my composition, like I'd wanted it to, the sun ended up setting kind of off to the right outside of frame. But the lighting was good enough that in the end, it didn't really matter. And I, am, I, I just can't overstate how happy I am with the end result here. Now, I do have one other extra image that I took the next morning that I didn't have time to slow down and take video footage of. So I'll share that with you here now. Now this image ended up being my second favorite from my whole trip, which is kind of miraculous considering how I was barely able to take the shot. I woke up right at the tail end of sunrise because I stupidly didn't set an alarm and I zoomed out of Mount Mitchell State Park at basically the fastest possible legal speed that I could. Um, <laughs> I checked out the three nearest overlooks. I decided upon the one that this shot was taken at and I was only able to really take a, a small handful of shots before the lighting had gotten poor enough that you know it wasn't making good photographs anymore. But I ended up with a great image. You know, I love my composition. I love the fog down in the valley below and the lighting makes the whole scene very pretty. So it ended up being a really great photo. And if you're ever in North Carolina, I would definitely recommend checking out Mount Mitchell State Park and the Blue Ridge Parkway in that area because there is tons of room for amazing compositions and photographs. And really my only regret during my trip was the fact that I didn't end up staying longer than three days because I probably could have come away with even more amazing images if I had opted to stay longer. Well, that about does it for this video. Go ahead and leave a like on the video if you liked it. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below with your thoughts on my images. Go ahead and get subscribed and turn on notifications if you want to stay up to date with all my future videos. I'm currently trying to upload about once a month as I can. Uh, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. My handle is at BeFunPhoto. Uh, thank you for watching through this video and I will catch you in the next one.